Sethina and welcome back to Emerald Cafe. It's a great pleasure to be in your reality today. Today we are going to discuss and demonstrate how to test your basal temperature for your thyroid function and also how to test for your adrenal and kidney function so you can determine where you're at. These are teachings I learned from Dr. Morris and just for all those other people out there, I'm going to make a disclaimer. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. I am simply demonstrating how to take your basal underarm temperature to help you determine the functioning of your thyroid and also your blood pressure to help you determine the functioning of your kidneys and adrenal glands. So that's what we are doing today. Let's go right to the thyroid. So the basal temperature is an accurate temperature testing to determine the functioning of your thyroid. A hypo condition which is an underactive thyroid, or um, a hyper condition, which is an overactive thyroid. So sometimes we go get our blood work done, and it reveals that there seemingly isn't anything, you know, malfunctioning with our thyroid, but our symptoms are telling us different. And we some of us have been to the white coast and they say it's all in our head or you seem fine everything's normal when we know we are not normal we know there's something wrong so this is how you determine your basal temperatures for the thyroid function get a thermometer uh whatever kind you have i have a digital thermometer and i also have a glass thermometer maybe this is something that's harder to find I don't know I've had it for a long time it depends where you are in the world what you have access to etc so before you go to sleep at night put this on the table next to you or on the floor next to you somewhere where you can have the easy access to it without getting out of bed the key is not getting out of bed or moving you want to move as little as you can. So ideally, you just want to roll over and grab it and take make, sh make sure that it's, sh it's shaken down to the zero, okay? So you have an accurate temperature. So when you wake up in the morning, don't move, don't get out of bed. We want you to be as still as possible. Take your thermometer and place it snugly and against the skin here and tucked into your arm and hold this in there for a good a full 10 minutes now you can lay on the side if that helps and that'll push against it but whatever you do keep it really snugly and tight in there against your skin take this temperature uh, do this four days consecutively and record your readings and a normal reading is 97.8 to 98.2 or 4. Uh, this again is given to me through Dr. Morse's teachings. So if you have anything below the 97.8, you're probably in some form of a hypo, an underactive thyroid um, condition. And if it's anything above, let's say 98.2 or 4, you're in a hyper overactive thyroid. So that's how you do that. So the key thing is don't, don't get out of bed. Don't move. This is right when you get up in the morning. Just lean over, grab your thermometer, place it snugly against your skin. No clothes in between you and the thermometer. Hold it there for a full 10 minutes. Record your results. Do this, you know, four days consecutively in a row and see what you've got. I'm not going to take my temperature for you. <laughs> this isn't about my thyroid reading, okay? This is about yours and helping you to, to understand where you're at with your thyroid. 
Next, we're going to take our blood pressure. Again, these, this is how I learned through the teachings of Dr. Morse how to determine my own blood pressure, or my own adrenal and kidney functioning. This is one way to measure it, all right? You can do blood tests, you can do saliva tests for the adrenals, but this is the easy way that you can do in the comfort of your home and take um, control of your own knowledge and your own understanding. Let me just tell you, for years, you know, going to many doctors, being in and out of hospitals and in that whole system for years, I was constantly, constantly told how low my blood pressure was. And let me tell you, it was low. And I'd often ask the question, well, what, what makes it low? Why is it low? Well, that's just normal for you. Normal for me? Well, then I'm not normal, right? <laughs> Something's wrong with me. I mean, this is the kind of non-answer answer I would get all the time. And, you know, of course, I didn't know any better back then. But I was frustrated because I'd go home and think, well, you know, what's wrong with me? Why is my blood pressure so low? But it's normal for me. Does that make sense? It's these non-answer answers that really get, you know, grind my grits, get under my skin. Because... I'd rather someone just say, I, I have no idea, but you may want to investigate that or something. Anyway, that's my own little mini rant. So, you, I have a blood pressure machine. I think it's accurate. Who, who technically knows, but I think it is. So, um, I have really small arms too, so I have to do this super tight. I mean, do I... I really don't want to have to demonstrate this whole process to you, but you understand what a blood pressure cuff is, right? And and how to do all that. I don't want to do this. It's going to take too much noise. But what you want to do is be resting in a chair for a while, uh, preferably not eating, not drinking, I'd say for a minimum of 20, 30 minutes. So this may be good if you're working at the computer or if you're sitting in a chair reading and then be very calm and still and, and take the reading then. Do your left side and your right side. You can take a couple readings at a time to get an average, but do your left and your right side. Why both sides? Because probably when you're at the doctor's office, you're used to them taking just one side, right? Whatever arm that is, probably your left. The reason why is because you have a left kidney and a left adrenal and a right kidney and a right adrenal. And you know your adrenals sit right on top of your kidney. Often a kidney is called renal something, right? Well, your adrenal, ad renal, ad is on top of, renal is kidney. Your adrenal is sitting right on top, so they're interrelated. Now. Take both sides because you can have a weakness. You'll see a difference, probably. You can have a, a, more of a weakness on one side or the other of the kidney and adrenal function. So you want to know what that is. For your own information, again, reclaiming your power, getting knowledge, getting information about yourself. All right? So you use these numbers as a baseline to as you're continuing on your will build path to determine where you come from how far you've come where you're at in the journey along the way these are data points so the systolic number which is the top number so you'll get a reading of two numbers a top and a bottom number there's a systolic and a diastolic number the systolic number is related to your adrenals. The bottom number is related to your kidney. The target number for the top number is between 120 and 130. I mean, 120 is probably right on. If it's 120 to 130, I'm giving you a range. Great, you're doing good. Your bottom number is 60 to 70. That's your target range for doing real good. So that's what you wanna shoot for, all right? The top number is related to your adrenals. Your target range is between 120 and 130. 
Your bottom number is related to your kidneys. Your target range is between 60 and 70. This is based on what I've learned in my studies. Now, if you have uh, low adrenals, which many of us do, I mean, if you're under 100 on your adrenals, you've got really low adrenals like I have. If you have adrenal glands, tincture, you have licorice root, tincture, you have adrenal glandulars, these are all from Dr. Morse's. Now, if you take glandulars, adrenal glandulars, here's an alert. I want you to pay close attention. Don't take these on an empty stomach. Uh, I would not recommend that. I have done that a number of times, and I'm telling you, I've gotten sick. Uh, dizzy, just nausea, sick. So have some food in your stomach before you take adrenals. That may not affect everyone in that way, but I, I'm going to say caution, do that just to just to cover yourself and if if finances are tight and you can't do it all licorice root is really good you can also buy licorice root the actual root in a health food store and brew it and make your own tea i have done that it's very sweet uh, i have made like a ginger root and licorice brewed tea the ginger is fantastic for inflammation all throughout the body it's very helpful for nausea which is something i have had a lot of challenge with in my life and it tastes real good and it's sweet so these are some tips for adrenals kidneys and thyroid testing now you have more tools in your own hands to do this for yourself and take your power back and use this as data points. Record the numbers, record the date, record each side of the left and right side of the kidney and adrenal and use this to see for yourself of where you have been and where you're going on your Wellville journey. I hope this was helpful and provided you with some insight today. Thank you for taking your time to join me today, and it's always a great pleasure. Until next time.